I have a little audience today. I don't even know why I'm making this video. What I do know is that being a mood reader, it's kind of hard to have a set TBR. I have been following my TBR that I've been wanting to do, which is kind of surprising. Being a mood reader is very weird and I wish I could set my TBR to being like, oh, I'm gonna read this, 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 but no. Today, I'm just gonna go through books that I wanna get through in the next two months. I'm gonna start off with what I'm currently reading right now to get the vibe going. If you've ever read Things We Never Got Over, then maybe you've read Things We Hide From The Light. And then maybe you know that the third book is Things We Left Behind. So I wanted to read this book before that book came out so then I could just kind of like get it and then read it. I'm only, let's see. I'm only on chapter six, I'm on page 62, and this is, this is a thick book. It's an interlocking series with brothers and then a friend. So you have the Morgan brothers, you have Knox is the first book, I believe I'm saying his name correct, and then you have Nash, and then the last book is his, is their like, br like friend, but like they're like brother friends, or like, they're very close friends. And his name is Lucian, and the girl's name is Sloane, and she's the librarian. Really liked the first book. Not to the point of five stars, but enough for four stars, which was good. I like the way Lucy score writes. The only thing that I didn't like about the book, or like, I didn't necessarily not like it. I just kind of was like, oh, I've never read something like this. The main characters are in their late 30s, early 40s. That's the only thing that kind of like threw me off. I didn't, I didn't mind it. It's just like, I've never read something like that. So that was something new for me. The next book that I'm currently reading is on audiobook and it's called You Did This. So far, it's pretty good. I, it's like a mystery thriller type book. It's definitely a good book right now. The main character's sister was killed when she was younger. And so Claire Wolf, she, her sister Tina was murdered when she was younger. They never caught the killer, so it's like a cold case. So then 12 years later, Claire comes back to her hometown and she's like a detective now. So she came back to her hometown to solve Tina's case, her sister's. Strange things start happening of girls Tina's age, when Tina died, like 14, she are starting, there are, new, there, there are new murders popping up. They are being killed the same way that Tina was. So they're thinking it's the same killer. So it's kind of like in that realm. And it's pretty good right now. I hope this makes sense. The next book that I'm going to read is... Unwrap, unwrap, unreveal me. I'm gonna stick with Unreveal Me. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. I'm excited to get started on this because I really wanna get to Ignite Me. I gotta get there. I have to. The novella was pretty good. Destroy Me, the novella was really good and I really liked it. So I hope I can, I hope I can actually finish this series this year. But with this book buying ban that I'm on, who knows if I'll, take myself off of it. The only way I can buy a book is if it's a new release and I've read the books before them. That is the only way. I think that's smart. Those are the books that I'm currently reading and or listening to. But the next books that I'm going to show you are books that I hope to read in August and September. There you go. Knowing me, I probably won't get through all these. Who knows if I'll even get through one, but we are hopeful that we will get through them. The first book that I'm gonna start with is the last, the like kind of like last book in the Hunger Games kind of like series, but this this isn't about PETA or Katniss. This is about President Snow and his story. The movie's coming out. I wanna watch, I wanna read it before the movie comes out. I'm excited to get into this. I'm excited to get back into this world and just finish the 
series of this. The next book that I want to finish would be A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I've not heard one bad review about this book. I have no idea what this book is about, but I have it and I'm gonna give it a try. So this is just about a high school senior who is trying to solve a murder, but then kind of like gets caught in trouble herself. I'm excited to read this. Like I kind of want to read it more closer in October due to the fact that it's kind of, I don't know, I just get fall spooky vibes with like thrillers or like mysteries. Just don't get me started on fall. I love fall. Speaking of books that I want to read kind of like in fall, this beautiful book. One of the Barnes and Nobles employees ha recommended this book. She said it was kind of like Ivy League with demons. So I'm just, um, I'm already enticed just by that little, the cover is absolutely stunning. Like, I'm excited to read this. I love, the, I just love the cover. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now, I know the Hawthorne Brothers book is coming out soon, but if I really enjoy this book, I feel like I'm going to finish the series and then start her other series, The Naturals. I heard people talk about that series as like being like criminal minds and I am all for it. I am all for that right now. So I hope to give this a good try and hopefully I like this series. It sounds interesting. And then I heard people said that there's like a subplot of romance in here. The next book, Love on the Brain. I love the love hypothesis. Love Allie Hazelwood's writing. Are there some cringe-worthy moments? Yes, but that's what makes her book special. So I'm excited to give this a try. The last book is Love Theoretically. This one sounds very interesting. This is about a theoretical physicist and she has a side job of being a fake girlfriend to people. One of her favorite clients, older brother, he's like the guy between her and her dream job. And like she's, there's just so much happening just on this back cover. I have no idea how to explain it, but I have not read a good rom-com in a long time. I'm excited to get back into Allie Hazelwood's world. So those are all the books that I hope to read and are or reading or listening to over the next two months. Okay, you guys, I know today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but you gotta work with me here. You guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, I post videos weekly and I hope to keep posting them weekly. If you've read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments that if, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, if you have any suggestions of what I should buy after my book buying ban, then please just drop all the books down below because once I'm off my book buying ban, I'm going to be just absolutely hurting my bank account with going to the bookstore but that's okay i know you have a book to go finish so go finish that book i will see you in the next video bye you guys <laughs>